It's great to have you here. You're, it's you're great really, to be here. There aren't many writers who are famous by face, like who people see you and recognize you. When did that first happen for you? You know, I'm not sure. I think maybe uh, it was either during the West Wing or uh, I was arrested at Burbank Airport with a lot of cocaine in my bag, and <laughs> I think I became known for that as well. <laughs> yeah, that's an attention grabber. Yeah. Your, uh, all of your, your movies, your television shows are kind of, there's a, almost an Aaron Sorkin way when it comes to dialogue, the way that characters talk to each other. In fact, let's play a clip from uh, uh, the movie here from Steve Jobs. Just acknowledge the top guys. Have a mimosa and relax. You will not blow me off right now, Steve. The top guys... There are no top guys, all right? On the Apple II team, there are no top guys. They're B players, and B players discourage the A players. And I want A players at Apple and not Dell. They're not B players, and I'm a better Less judge of that. Less than 90 days from insolvency, in part because somebody thought the Newton wasn't a box of garbage. Joe. Could you come off stage, Leave please? Leave him. I'm talking you about... You guys designed and shipped a little box of garbage while I was gone. I'm talking about the Apple II, which is not just a crucial part of this company's history, it is a crucial part of the history of personal computing. I really enjoy that movie. Yeah. And I thought Seth Rogen was Seth fantastic. Seth Rogen and Michael Fassbender, uh, uh, they're b both great in the movie, along with Kate Winslet, Jeff Daniels. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a fantastic cast. We had a great time making it. You must it. be so happy when it comes out like that, something that you've sat there and hashed out yourself. Yeah. It, it, listen, it's, it's really hard. It was, uh, uh, it was a hard movie to write. It took a couple of years, but when, when you do see it up there, Danny Boyle uh, uh, directed or directed Slumdog Millionaire. With this cast, you, you really feel no pain. And by the way, uh, you know, the movie has been out for three months, but if you go now, you'll still be among the first to see it. <laughs> I don't understand that because, yeah, it, it, it's really good, and yeah. We don't, it, 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 it just is an odd thing that happened. The movie, uh, uh, which premiered at, the, at all the prestigious film festivals, it was the darling of the film festivals, it opened to really rave uh, uh, reviews. We opened in what's called a platform release, which is where you just open it in two theaters in New York and Los Angeles to begin with, and we set records for uh, a limited release. Uh, and then uh, when it went wide, uh, nobody outside of cities went to see it uh, Maybe uh, for some reason. Maybe you need to go to Burbank with a briefcase full of cocaine again. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I, they, they're not stopping me anymore going through his security. You said it was a hard movie to write. Well, what made it hard and what, what, what was your easiest movie to write? Writing is really hard for me. I haven't had uh, uh, an easy one. This one, Steve Jobs, uh, uh, what was hard was that I, I, I knew what I didn't want to do, which was write a biopic, a traditional biopic, a cradle-to-grave story where you land on the character's greatest hits uh, along the way, uh, that I wanted to do something else. Uh, and uh, what that turned out to be was, uh, frankly, a, a, a lot of dialogue. Um, I, and uh, which, if, if you are a little familiar with my work, it's not that surprising. When I grew up in my family, at, at, at my family's dinner table, anybody who used one word when they could have used 10 just wasn't trying hard enough. I see. <laughs> People are talking over each other. Yeah, and, you know, when I really, and, and I really, like, I'm, everybody in my family is smarter than I am. All of my friends are smarter uh, than I am. All my friends growing up were smarter than, uh, uh, than I was. And I really started to enjoy the sound of smart people arguing with each other, and I wanted to imitate that sound. When you hear people talking in public, do you make mental notes? Do you think, oh, that might be something I'd work into? Yeah, if I, I love uh, when I come in on the middle of a conversation. If I'm having a sandwich in a diner or something and I can hear the people uh, uh, in the next booth um, and one of them is really angry and just says, I mean, how many people can you think of named Gordon? Uh, <laughs> and I'll think, <laughs> I really, I just want to write the beginning of that conversation and see if I can get there, if I can get to that line. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you.